you. You're right here. You're the one. Papa? Oh, I didn't know you pressed start. <laughs> Hello. 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 Okay, Papa, I figured out what kind of moth that was in your garden. How did you find out? I just googled bright red moth with translucent wings. It's called it's called a scarlet bodied wasp moth. So it it said uh, in one of these articles that it's red like that because it to get rid of natural predators. So it actually doesn't sting and it can't bite. Um, it just mimics a bright wasp. I've and been, its wings flap really fast so only, that birds don't go for it. The only time I've ever seen it is on that Japanese plum tree. Last year I saw one. This year I saw one. That's the only time I've ever seen it. I have no idea what that is. Well, I, let uh, me go find the map. But they're only native to like North America and parts of Mexico. And it's like a really tight band like on the southern states. Like right and then, on the Hmm? And they said every now and then they find them on the coast in California. But uh, mostly just here. One of the articles said they were pretty rare. I can believe it. That's the only two I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say, Allie, that um, there's a place to even say you spotted one? Yeah, I'd have to go find that. Uh, but what is it? Like, what did, what did it even do? Uh, there's not that many sighted, like, confirmed sightings. Sure, sure that picture. So that map, and then some of Mexico too. Try not to shake. Got it. Wow. That's rare. That thing's rare. Very I wish I could. I wish I could really catch it and go. breed it. Huh? They actually. <laughs> I would love to breed it. I'm not kidding you. Yeah, get, well, yeah. now you know what the the larva and stuff looks like, so you can look yeah, out for them. Yeah, I'll be real careful on those larvas yeah. now. They said uh, they were going to use those moths. There's a, it's called Mile a Minute Vine. Do you know what that is? Mile a Minute Vine? Not really. I think it's come out of China, that vine did. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, they said for a while they were thinking about using these moths to control the spread of that vine somewhere because they eat, uh, let me go back and recheck. Well, the only thing I've ever seen of that is that uh, Japanese plum tree. And he loves that tree. He's all over it. <laughs> every day, I, every, not twice I've seen him up yesterday and the day out there. Let's see. They got a real short lifespan? Yeah, only 60 to 70 days. Oh, Lord. The whole lifespan. And how old are you? <laughs> 81. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> In about three or four, five weeks, 10 weeks. No. <laughs> the 13th of December. Four weeks. <laughs> I gotta ask Mama's permission. To turn 81? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <though>, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> so they eat, um, mostly it's called Florida Keys hemp vine. It's a climbing vine or hemp weed, but that's their main source of food. Uh, hemp. Is it opium? Hemp? I don't know. No, that's just the name of the of the plant. It, the plant looks like this, the leaves of it. I'm not sure what it is. It's just called a hemp weed. Okay, that's another five minute video. That's good. It's right mm -hmm. there. If you ever see caterpillars that look like this, it's that moth's babies. What before babies? it before it goes into its cocoon. I know what you can do. Do my video. I have no idea what it is. Then do another with me and her, but she's telling me what it is. And then put on a playlist. Yeah. That's two. That's right. Yeah, looks just like that. Problem. That's what it looks like. So maybe it's just getting it confused with its natural. Uh, I don't know. He's, uh, he's all over that Japanese plum tree. I'm not kidding. You know, spiders <laughs> won't even eat these wasps. I mean, uh, these spiders won't even eat the. I, I, I think if I heard right. The stuff they take in is kind of not toxic, but it's... Mm -hmm. It's called alkaloids. Yeah, alkaloids. Some kind of chemical compound. So, and so in that red color, it's telling birds, try me, don't eat me, because mm -hmm. I'm not good. Mm -hmm. In other words... Spiders will actually come out of their webs. In nature, bright colors means poison. Mm -hmm. Call snakes. Uh, the uh, poison arrow frog, mm -hmm. they're brilliant colored. It means leave me alone. <laughs> But I don't think they're actually poisonous. 
But whatever no, they do, toxic. Eat, toxic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean you can handle they it; can't. it won't hurt you. Yeah. Eating you get sick. What about what do the spiders do, Allie? The spiders will actually cut the um, the red moths out of their webs, especially the males. The females don't make as much as the alkaloid compound as the males do, but whenever the whenever they're mating, the males release filaments onto the females. And after those filaments are released, then the spiders will cut the females out of their webs too. And you enjoy a, a three musketeers. That's a three musketeers. <laughs> That's evolution. Mm -hmm. Evolution. Good night, y'all. Hey, Dan. Love you, Papa. Love you too, baby. You like my pom poms? Hmm? Like my pom poms? I do. <laughs> Go, Tigers. Yeah. <laughs>